Hello my loves, Tasha with Tasha's Cuisine. Tonight I have the recipe for all the stick lovers out there. Uh, if you like your stick well done, full of flavor, this recipe is definitely for you. Um, before I start this process that you see here, uh, adding all the seasonings, I made sure that I rinsed the meat with lime juice, lemon, under cold water. So now I am adding uh, the black pepper. And I also like the McCormick seasonings. Um, this little thing right here is a blended herbs. Um, it has a bunch of goodies in it. Uh, you should give it a try. Um, I'm adding a little bit of Italian seasonings and um, a chili flakes pepper of course it will give it a little bit of heat not too spicy so i'm not gonna add too much i'm also adding a little bit of blended garlic with scallion As you can see this meat will taste really good because I add a lot of herbs and spices just the way I like it guys um, I am going to prepare this stick dinner with potatoes the russet potatoes and the red potatoes I already added a little bit of salt in the water and I'm going to let it boil for about seven minutes because I don't want them to be too cooked so I'm getting ready now to um, prepare the stick. I add a little bit of vegetable oil. I made sure that the pan is nice and hot. Um, yes, it needs to be really hot. And because I want the steak to be well done, I am going to let them cook for about, I would say, a minimum 15 minutes, you guys. Okay guys, so once the meat start looking like this, I'm adding a little bit of wine. I am a wine person. If you don't drink wine, you can skip this process, but I just love to taste the wine when I'm eating the meat. Um, but yeah, the potatoes are all set. I added a little bit of butter um, into the hot pan and um, as you can see, I already put the potatoes um, while I'm keeping an eye on the steak. Um, like I said, I love my steak well done. I don't want to see any blood when I'm eating it. So yes, I am making sure that it's well done. Um, when it comes to the potatoes, I boiled them for about seven minutes and I am going to sprinkle a little bit of black pepper. I'm not going to add um, salt this time because I already let the potatoes boil with a little bit of salt. And now all I need to do is, uh, you know, keep turning them so uh, they can get that brownish color on both sides. I really don't want them to be too crispy. But of course, I am throwing the shrimp, as you can see here, um, adding a little bit of lemon juice and garlic. Uh, if you're not a shrimp lover, you can skip this step, but yes, I love shrimp, so this is going to be delicious, you guys, mouth-watering. Let the shrimp cook for about five to seven minutes, and I'm ready to eat. This is exactly how my plate is looking like. As you can see, everything is delicious, mouth-watering, and this is my way of sharing with you, giving you the recipe on how to prepare this. I hope you give it a try, and as usual, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and also check us out on Facebook. I'll see you soon with more videos.